Hey, what's going on, guys? So this stream is going to be pretty much unscripted. I just wanted to um, get in here and and take a look at the new Funfair Casino Showcase they just released earlier today. Uh, I know a lot of people have a hard time accessing the Covan testnet. That's um, basically uh, where where developers um, test out their dApps before they go live. So before you could actually spend real ETH and test these apps, um, you can actually test them out first uh, within the testnet environment. But to do that, you need to be connected to the testnet. And I'll open up my uh, MetaMask wallet, uh, which is an extension in Chrome. And you can see here in MetaMask, I'm connected to the Covan testnet. And you can see I've got some uh, testnet ether in there. Uh, so that allow allow me to uh, play on the platform. So this is the uh, Funfair landing page. And you can see here down at the network, if I click that, I am connected to the Covan network. So it's um, sync, it's automatically syncing up with my uh, wa my MetaMask wallet right now. So I can go ahead and start playing. So right now, it looks like they've got, okay, yeah, so they've got a new game called Roulette. Uh, last time I checked out the, uh, the showcase, they only had two of the stars. But uh, we can play both of them if you guys want, uh, just to check them out. Um, we can see here also they've got some future games, some things that they're going to be coming out with soon. And they've got, uh, they've got here, they've got local games. So these are ones that actually aren't on uh, the blockchain yet, so they're not actually on the testnet environment. Uh, but those should be coming soon. I was playing the blackjack the other day, and I, I just got like completely into it. So I, I can't imagine if, if I was actually playing with real, uh, you know, real tokens, I would probably be on it for hours. Um, but we'll focus on what they actually have on chain and see how it interacts with blockchain. We let one before, so I definitely want to try that. Let's see. This game runs on a test blockchain using our Fate Channels technology to deliver instant secure gaming. This is the future of online gaming. Give it a spin. Don't know yet what Fate Channels are. Um, Fate Channels are, I mean, aside from aside from like the the awesome. Um, you know, interface and games that Funfair has right now. Uh, what really sets them apart, uh, you know, with their with their technology. Um, what what's kind of like a game changer for them is a lot of these DApps right now. Uh, you'll see that, for example, like any any type of dice game that's running on the Ethereum blockchain. You'll see that anytime there's um, Anytime you like roll a pair of dice, and a, uh, a random number generator will run, and it will push the result, um, you know, to the smart contract on chain, which which will be on chain, and then that will ultimately end up giving you your you know provably fair result, um, and and giving you your your winnings or or recording your losses, um, and distributing those to the house. Uh, the problem with that is every time you um, place a bet, you're putting two transactions on chain, uh, placing the bet and and getting the result, um, which is pushed um, from a third party oracle uh, to the to the blockchain smart contract. And with the fees right now, I mean that does two things that that really. Um, you know, slows down the Ethereum blockchain, which which hasn't really scaled that well just yet. Um, you'll see every time there's an ICO, uh, the blockchain gets um, you know bogged down. It's it's kind of the same concept with you know these DApps that are on that are having a lot of on-chain transactions. Um, a it 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 takes just a ton of fees to run. Um, it's slow and it. it bogs down uh, the Ethereum blockchain. So 
what Funfair, like having, having said that, what Funfair does differently is they have their Fate Channels technology and essentially um, they've found a good balance between uh, recording transactions, you know, what they put on chain um, as opposed to what happens off chain. So they've found a way to make sure, like just, just to kind of like not get too technical, but um, instead of having, you know, two on-chain transactions every time you place a bet, there's an on-chain transaction when you start a session and when you end a, end a session. And so you still reap all the benefits of having a provably fair um, gaming session, uh, but you're minimizing the fees that you're paying, um, you know, each time you play the game. And it lets you, it lets you, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a much more enjoyable experience um, because you get to just play instantly. And, and the only... The only time you really wait is is when you start the session and when you end the session. Um, so you can have a lot of bets, and your and your fee can be very low. Um, so that's just a huge, huge innovation that Funfair has done, and and that's something that you know that type of innovation is something that's supposed to be coming with the new Ethereum release. Um, however, uh, they haven't done they haven't done it yet. And the Funfair team decided, hey, you know, we're not we're not going to wait for, you know, Vitalik and company to, you know, figure this out for us. We're going to go ahead and, and figure it out for ourselves and and put this thing out here. So, I, I think that really just shows, you know, that these guys are not messing around and and they they're they're finding ways to innovate and, um, you know, have a great a great gaming experience, but also take advantage of you know, the, the decentralized application um, benefits. So having said that, I know you guys probably just want to see the game, so let's, uh, let's play roulette. Guys, I, I don't know if we're lagging a little bit because um, because of the game or because my internet connection is honestly pretty terrible. Uh, so um, you know, just bear with me. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to Roulette. Insert coins. All right, let's go ahead. There is my balance of ETH. Um, I imagine that when this when this comes out, it's going to show your balance in fun. Um, I actually, yeah, I actually spoke to uh, the lead developer uh, Jez about this. And he said that with um, Metropolis release, that's one of the, the massive um, updates that's coming to Ethereum. Um, coming out with is going to allow you to, um, you know, convert between app tokens and Ethereum. So basically, uh, what you would see when you log in here is you'd see your fund balance, um, and then you could go ahead and 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 you could pay. Uh, you could pay the uh, process, process the transactions um, on the Ethereum blockchain in fun, and it would automatically convert to Ethereum play, and and pay that for uh, those processing those transactions. And you wouldn't have to be like a, a a user of the game would not have to own both Ethereum to pay the network fees and own fun to play. The game they would only need to own fun, and I think that's a, a, a going to be a huge selling point for bringing in, um, especially new users who maybe not maybe won't even have any 
um, experience uh, with Ethereum. Um, they could they could just get fun and um, and get experience to the plot or get exposure to the platform. But, all right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and buy some coins. So let's buy. I mean, or so let's go with. Uh, we'll get four thousand. And let's see what happens. Where are my coins at? Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm expecting that it will ask me to confirm a transaction um, on MetaMask. But let's let's see. Let's see what happens here. And guys, I'm uh, I'm I'm trying this out for the first time right now as well. So, um, this is this is new to me too. So, I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure how long it takes. All right, let's try the other game and see if that works. Very uneventful so far, though. I was I was really looking forward to winning some some test ETH on uh, on roulette. Let's see what uh, let's see it. Let's see how the other one plays out. All right, so this game is called To the Stars. It looks like there's like Buzz Lightyear on the on the cover of it. <laughs> I'm just now seeing some of these comments. My my bookmarks, they're uh they're pretty nerdy. Let's see. It's even slower. This one better this one better be rewarding or I'm going to be pretty disappointed. I'm gonna have to tell Jez that uh, that the stream was very uneventful. Let's go 
Uh, if this wasn't a live stream, I could just fast forward here, but it looks like we're waiting. I am doing this off of a MiFi device, so I should probably get real internet, but this is free, so I have more money for fun. <laughs> Man, this thing is taking forever. I'm not I'm not too sure though. I remember when I tested the platform last time, I felt like I got in there. I was just able to play this one game, but I feel like I got in there pretty quickly. And I also didn't have any issue connecting. I mean, it, it looked it looked quite a bit different, but I didn't have any issue issues um you know, connecting with my MetaMask wallet and and getting and actually buying the coins to play. Um so I'm curious as to how much this is this is the network or not. And um, I think a lot of people are going to be playing, uh, actually playing the game on, you know, uh, phones and whatnot, which which might not have you know the fastest, um, con as fast of a connection as you might have at home. Um, so I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see um, if they're able to improve that. One of the really cool things about this platform, though, is that they they are building it in HTML5. Uh, so instead of building like um, application or, uh, or device uh, specific applications, so having like, you know, a different app for Android, a different app for the computer, a different app for the iPhone, and so on and so forth, uh, they're going to have, it's, it's going to be built in HTML5, which is, um, which is, basically lets you have which runs in your with the game will run in your browser and it's optimized to be able to run on any device so basically no matter what device you're on if you've got your account you can just uh pop in there and and play so i think that's i think that's going to be really big especially with uh the mobile market and the rate at which the you know the technology is is turning over um, to be able to have like built from the start on uh, HTML5 and, and let people play no matter what hardware they have is going to be pretty huge. Yeah, I think I think if we don't get in get in here soon, people are going to give up on me. But you know, I'm just going to blame Jez. It, it can't. It can't be. It can't all be the internet. Oh come on, we're so close. I wonder if I can go back in here and and fast forward, uh, edit out this part for the for the replay can probably just scroll forward, right? <laughs> I 
Comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's get in there. All right, if I can't get coins in this thing soon, I am ending the stream and I'm going to complain. We need to at least get one round of betting in on the stream. Otherwise, I, I don't know if it'll been uh, it will have been worth it. You'll just hear me. You've just heard me ranting about how cool Funfair is. <laughs> Everyone sell their fun. The stream, the stream sucks. Forever the Oh my god, are we in here? Oh, finally. All right. We better be able to get some coins. That's all I'm saying. I am connected. Give me coins. We're waiting. Again. Yeah, see, I, I don't see any transactions coming through. Honestly, guys, I think there might be, I think there might be something up with this release. Yeah. Because last time I tested this one, when I when I hit the deposit to deposit the coins, it uh, it pulled up my MetaMask account right away. Pause it and play. So, I mean, they just they did just release this um, a few hours ago. So I will uh, do hard, but I'm definitely going to see you know what's going on, and hopefully we can hopefully we can try again. Um, I hate to leave you guys hanging, but um, the platform itself, I mean, I mean, I, I love the platform. I loved it when I tried it last time. Um, so I hope they get this figured out. But at the same time, you know, we are play, we are like testing out like a very, very early version. Um, and I'm impressed, honestly, that they even have a platform to test. Um, compared to most of the, the dApps that I've seen out there that have absolutely nothing except for a white paper and a year later they have like or something ridiculous or like a messenger app. Um, the fact that they, uh, they have something and they're putting it out there for us to test along the way and um, they do have a feedback section in their Discord chat so I'm going to go ahead and leave a comment in there saying that we tested it out and we weren't able to deposit our coins so they can they can see what's going on and we can try it again next time. But um, I want to thank you guys for joining. Uh, we'll 
we'll go ahead and, and give this a shot again once uh, once we figure out they can they can fix the issues because uh, I do want to let you guys uh, check out the platform and and honestly I want to I want to play some for myself so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.